Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Teaching from the Living Room, sort of, or the basement. Anyway, I'm going to step back from the uh, tools and the tech today and give you some tips, or really just um, a tip, uh, going into this weekend. So for many of you, you just finished up your first week of teaching online. It's very overwhelming, very stressful, and um, you're looking to catch your breath and take a break, which is great. But this is a pivotal moment for you as an instructor, and more importantly, it's a pivotal moment for your students who are engaging in your online class for the first time as well, wherever they may be. And so the tip is for you to actually figure out which students are engaged in your course, and more importantly, which students haven't engaged in your course yet going into the weekend, and to come up with a plan of how you're gonna reach out to them and connect with them and engage with them. And it's um, not enough for us as instructors to sit back and wait for our students to reach out to us, but for us to be proactive in going out to figure out who needs help and resources and to connect with them. And so going into Carmen Canvas and clicking on your people's tab to see who's logged in, who hasn't, how long students have been in or out of the course for, and to use that as a metric to figure out who you need to reach out to this weekend is gonna be crucial um, for those students who maybe need help and don't know where to turn or afraid to, to reach out and to find out whether it's the tools or the technology or internet or home situations that are keeping them from engaging in your course. So it's gonna be really important for us to figure that out. So I'm pushing you uh, over the next 24 hours to get into your course, figure out who those students are that maybe need some extra help, and then coming up with a plan of how you're gonna reach out to them and connect to them, whether it's an email, whether it's a phone call, whether it's setting up a personal uh, Zoom meeting with them to connect and, and do some mentoring or coaching um, or just teaching, um, and that's gonna be super helpful. So that's the one tip I have for you going into this weekend ahead um, to set you up for success, and more importantly, set your students up for success over the next three or four weeks to finish out the term strong and, and call this a great year. So that's it all I have for you. As always, keep teaching.osu.edu for the latest and greatest. We'll see you soon, Ohio State.